and it's all about the stillbirths and the miscarriages that occurred after the testing of the nuclear weapons. So we had like uh, women, Marcia's women gave birth to, had stillbirths, and they had all of these birth defects after the nuclear testing, which they didn't talk about for a while because they thought there was something wrong with them. And of course the US government didn't talk to them to tell them that this might happen. They had no idea what was happening. And so the births that they get, they had was like, they didn't have names for it. They gave birth to babies that looked like jellyfish babies, you know, with no bones. They gave birth to grape babies. They, you know, they, they had no words for it, so they had to come up with words. These are jellyfish babies. These are turtle babies. These are grape babies. You know, these words that they didn't really know how to describe it. And if, this is a chart that actually shows, if you look, it says adverse births before 1951 and before, and these are the amounts that the women could remember they had. And you can see it's really low. And then after 1952, the bombs in 1952, look, 63, 33, 56, 72, 77, like that's a huge amount, right? And they did actually try to bring this forward to the, to the government, but it was never really recognized. So the next poem that I wanted to write about, that I wanted to share with you all, is actually a poem um, that I kind of wrote to dedicate to the Marshes women who had to put up with these kinds of, who had to deal with these horrific traumas. So this is Lamayo Abun. And she is a Marcius elder who's still alive today and who's always speaking out about this issue. And she was kind of the inspiration for me to focus on it. Um, so uh, it's called Monster, the piece that I wrote. And it was a really interesting journey. Like I had to do a lot of research to figure out, okay, what is it that I want to write about? Um, how do I, you know, how do I want to write about this, 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 this issue, you know? And so, what I kept turning to at the time was this Marshallese legend called the Meganwad. The Meganwad is a Marshallese woman demon that's like, re everyone's really scared of back home. It's this woman demon that has like shark teeth in the back of her head, her jaw like dislocates and like she can fit a canoe inside of it and she can stretch her whole neck around the island. Yeah, it's, it's grody and awesome. <laughs> so it's basically this legend that we based, that we came up with. And I've talked to a few people who think it might've been a way to discuss postpartum depression. Yeah, because the um, Medjedewat are known to eat babies and to eat pregnant women. And what we, we think it was sort of a way to discuss postpartum depression, you know, the madness that comes after you give, uh, after you give birth. And so I started doing research on the Medjedewat and I creeped out everybody in my family by asking them about it. Um, mostly because I kind of saw a link between the Medjedewat and the women giving birth to these babies. I couldn't figure it out at first. I was like, why, why does, where's, what's this link? And I, I figured out that it's because, um, you know, I wondered if they felt like like monsters when they first had those children, you know, and I wondered what what it was like, you know, to give birth to that. And so, and then I did a lot of my own, you know, um, my own sort of internal work, and I realized that um, I was trying to like when I was first writing the piece, it had to do. I kept trying to make the Meganwad more human you know, give her more character, more background. And I said, and my mentor who was, who was editing the piece with me said, why, why are you trying to rehabilitate this character? She's a demon. And I said, I guess it's because I feel like I relate to her because I feel like a monster sometimes. So I have a daughter, you know, she's um, three years old. And I actually dealt with postpartum when I was first, when I first had my daughter for about like two years and I had no idea. And, um, and I thought, you know, I felt like a monster when I was um, going through it. And so when I was trying to heal the Marshallese women and trying to heal the Medinabad, I was also trying to heal myself. And so I just wanted to share this piece because this is my latest, one of my newest pieces. And it's become kind of like a way for me to understand the journey of how I write. And I wanted to kind of share that. Um, and also because I want to focus on one issue that's nuclear, um, that's nuclear related. So this is a piece, it's called Monster. Sometimes I wonder if Marshallese women are the chosen ones. I wonder if some